find tangent B? That is our question for today to be answered here on the premier. Again, find tangent B. Good luck. Today we will be solving square root of three digit number without using a calculator. Now, to do this one, first we have to memorize the squares from one to nine. Like one square is equal to one, two square is equal to four, three square is equal to nine, four square is equal to sixteen, five square is equal to twenty five. 6 squared is equal to 36, 7 squared is equal to 49, 8 squared is equal to 64, 9 squared is equal to 81. And now, for example, square root of 169. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How we will do this? See, this one ends in 9. Now, what are the numbers, the squares that ends in 9? We have 3 squared is equal to 9. And we have uh, 7 squared which is equal to 49. We have 7 and 3. We have to set them aside to use it later. Then, from here, we have the 1. So, the 1 and 69, so automatic 1 squared is equal to 1. So to proceed this math trick, we have to use this one, n times n plus 1. We, use, we have to use this formula. So where n is equal to our first number. So 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 2 is greater than 1. Therefore, we have to take the least number we took from the squares. So, the answer is 13. 169 square root is equal to 13. We have to solve the other uh, sample, which is equal to square root of 2, 2, 5. Now, if we have this one, 2, 2, 5. And what is the square that ends in 5, which is equal to 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So, 5 squared is equal to 25. There is no other, only 5 squared. So, therefore, we have 5. We'll set them aside. So, here, we have 2. 2, which one is lesser than the squares that less than 2, it's equal to only 1 squared. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, the starter is 1. Because 1 is less than <coughs> 2. So therefore, the first digit is 1. Now, we let n is equal to 1. Therefore, one n times n plus 1, which is equal to 1 times 2, which is equal to 2. And 2 is equal to 2. This 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, our answer is 5. So here, the square root of 2 to 5 is equal to 1, 5. Now, we have, we'll go to the third example, which is square root of 7, 8, 4. Now, 7, 8, 4. Now, we have to find the squares that ends in 4. We have 2 by 2, or 2 squared is equal to 4. And 8 squared is equal to 64. So, all of these two squares ends in 4. Therefore, we have the numbers 2 and 8. I'll set them aside. So, we can use it later. Now, we have here 7. We have to group this one into 7 and 8, 4. Now, here, 7, we have to find the squares that is uh, 
less than 7, so 2 squared is equal to 4, 3 squared is equal to 9, so 9 is greater than 2, so we will go to 2, 2 squared is equal to 4, therefore, our first answer here is 2, now, our n is equal to 2, which is this one, therefore, to use this one, n times n plus 1, this is the formula we're using here, Therefore, our n is 2 times 2 plus 1. So, 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. Now, 6 is less than the first digit number, less than 7. Therefore, we have to take, if this is lesser, we have to take the highest number we took from the square. So, we have to take the 8. Therefore, here the answer is, 8, so square root of 7, 8, 4 is equal to 28. This is an AC matrix without using the calculator. Now, if you practice this one, it will take seconds only to take the answer. Before I will end up this video, you will see on the screen the solution to the problem I gave last premiere. The answer is the cord length is equal to 10.4 centimeter and nobody get the correct answer. DJ.